Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Pancho back at you again with another video and it's official Frosty has gone to beat his court case now for you guys who don't know what's going on I will leave the previous videos link down in the description below But to sum up earlier on this year Frosty had posted to social media that he was back in court due to a county line defense that had happened in 2018 This was a separate one to the one he went in prison for a short while back over the past month or two He's made a few court appearances and we were saying that he could potentially be looking Looking at a lengthy prison sentence because the judge had told him if he ends up back in court again on the same charges then he'd be looking at around seven years in jail or well, today he's gone on to beat the case after he posted this up on instagram on that post with these two videos he had the caption cps or crown prosecution service tried to stitch me up and give me a seven thank you judge for putting this case to bed steppers out soon which is his new song by the way no cap in my rap so according to frosty himself he said that he could have definitely been hit with that seven which we did previously speculate and that ended up seemingly being true because he beat the case it's going to be hard to find court details about exactly what went on and to my best knowledge i don't even think the newspapers have even picked up on this story we discovered it and of course i've taken you through the whole case i'm happy for him though because it's not like he's now going to hit the trap back up and start flipping packs or anything like that he's going to head straight to the booth and is more than likely going to rap about this whole situation and overall i'm just wishing him the best with his future career because i really do fuck with his music i am hoping to see some more collaborations from him in the future as well but moving on to our next story and it seems as if stormzy is dropping a song in the next couple of hours titled rainfall and to be honest with you i doubt that this is going to be a chip reply for anyone wondering i mean a little while has gone by now when i know some people were saying he was giving heady one time to shine because of his album drop and stuff like that but personally if he does respond and that's a big if i do believe it will be in a few months but i don't even think he will anyway because at this point he doesn't even seem bothered with this new one though the thumbnail is animated and if you didn't know he's featured in the new watchdogs game so big up to him for that but yeah it's looking like as if it's a soundtrack for the game rather than a reply and of course he has a feature on there by the name of tiana major 9 so i'd be very surprised if this was a response but moving on to our last story and it's been alleged that the nigerian government has sent people to burn down burner boy's house in nigeria see they've climbed into igalo's house see they've climbed into igalo's Look house at, there's one person at igalo's house already right see, now that's house. House. There's jesus. somebody jesus. there already jesus they've gone to Bonaboy's boy's house jesus they're on oh our fence so if you guys don't know what's going on right now, there's been protests in Lagos and it's pretty much over police brutality. I'm not going to deep dive into it too much because I've got a full video coming out soon explaining the whole timeline of events in depth about this whole situation. I don't normally cover big things that go on overseas, but a lot of subscribers have messaged me on Instagram asking me to cover it and I'm definitely going to put one out probably over the weekend, so be sure to check for that one. Either way though, Burner Boy has been in support of these protests that are currently taking place place and because of this it was said that the government sent people to his property in nigeria to burn it down but according to punching.com they've been in contact with burner boy's management and they said that this wasn't the case his management told them burner boy's house wasn't burned and according to his neighbors that also spoke to punching.com they confirmed that his house wasn't burnt down although it was said according to punching.com quote unquote hoodlums got into the estate but they were repelled so it does seem as if some people did break into the grounds of the property but of course whoever attempted to do this obviously wasn't successful at doing it was this the nigerian government though i'm unsure right now it definitely could have been with what's going on right now but as it stands we don't actually know but let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it's been your boy pancho and i'm out